All right, my fellow YouTubers, this is part two on pH of your body, okay? So we're going to, let me see, where I left off, my camera only goes so far, so we're going to pick up where we left off. When your body changes in metabolism, it no longer seems to be in control of, of keeping your body as a young status. You notice your skin changes, everything changes when your metabolism changes. So pretty much at that point, your alkalinity changes, everything, your pH changes in your body, and you start aging. So when it's, a, when it's lacking of any minerals, 65 minerals, uh, it, when it's lacking any of those minerals, what it'll do is it'll attack the body. So pretty much it'll get iron from the blood, it'll get calcium from the bones, and the other 63 minerals, it'll get it from the other parts of the body. So um, basically you want to stop that process. And, and, and in the water I've been making, you know, I came about this two years ago, and this is before I even started this stuff. It, it's crazy because magnets and water and light are so intertwined that if you don't learn about those things, you'll never get one of those things down. So with the water process, I, I realized that if I take, I challenge you guys to take a pool test strip, pee on it, okay? And take it over to the jar and look at it and see if you're acidic or you're alkaline. And I'm going to say, if you're anywhere over 32 years old, you're most likely going to be ascetic. If you're anywhere that's a teenager, or if you're in your 20s, 230s, you're most likely going to be just average. Because your body, as it gets older, it slows down. A couple things happen to it, but it slows down some things. And pretty much the, the bottom line of it is that the alkalinity equals oxygen. So, like, when you have illness, they don't teach you, like, you know, when you go to the doctors if about your pH or if, you know, why you're sick, well, what's going on, the average cold, the common cold, they call it, you know, pretty much. N nobody knows how to cure it. It's just, it's just viruses coming in and whatever. But what it is is to break down your immune system. And w what happens is your body is electrical unit okay and if you look at it that way versus just somebody telling you that and you say okay yes it is it, i hear i feel a spark whatever but basically if your body's sending the wrong signals it's going to pick up signals that can penetrate it so basically if you're running an ascetic body cancer lives in 4.9 to 5.2 varying from that range is very ascetic. If you pee on the test strip and you show up pure yellow on the pH and not even showing up like color on your on your uh, alkalinity, your body is part of the 80% ascetic is what you take in your body and 20% is alkaline of what you take in your body. And what's alkaline is fruits and vegetables. So I, I know there's a lot of vegetarians out there. I talk to vegetarians. I do sell tofu, tempeh in my taco shop. And basically, I get living healthy. But if you don't understand the charges that your food is allowing your system to put in through your bloodstream to send out, you know, through your body, all these commands... Your body's going to be out of whack. Your body's not going to be able to do the things it was doing back when it wasn't in charge. Because I believe the metabolism pretty much through your pancreas is like a control module. Same thing in a freaking car. Control module. What's it do? It sends out commands in different parts of your body. So when your pancreas goes out, what do we know commonly with the pancreas would be what? Uh, diabetes, right? I know diabetes, pretty much it. But it 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 performs and produces cre uh, secretions of alkalinity. But when your metabolism is not running, it doesn't. So so it does more than just insulin. You know what I mean? Sugar control. It does more than that. So with the water, I noticed that if I Drink two bottles. What I started was I drank two bottles of my water. 
And I can't, I, I am in the process of making the bottled water, the whole nine yards and uh, putting a patent on the process. So I'm going to give you the process minus one major step and it can't happen without the major step. So I'm going to put it out there because I want you guys to realize I want it, it's education is what it is. What I don't know, people claim, I actually do know. And what I do know is if you run a negative ion charge in your body, the body is is negatively gr uh, ground. The, the, the air itself and above it is positively ground, okay? So basically, the charges that are coming off the ground are really a positive charge because it's a negative. So the positive charge come. And then on, on in, in the air, which is a positive charge, the negative charges come back down. So basically, you want your body not to be a positive charge. It needs to be a negative charge. And mainly, you want your body to be filled with oxygen. So when you take that test... And you, I want you guys, I'm going to put it out there because I want to teach you guys. Basically, if you take distilled water, distill it, buy it, and you put minerals in it. The minerals you want to use is Himalayan salt. It's made up of the same 65 minerals our body's made up from. So basically, you're going to have to do the math yourself. You're going to have to figure out the quotate, all the, the, the measurements yourself. But I'm going to give you out a few hints, okay? Himalayan salt, distilled water. At that point, what you did was you, you took water that's unstable. If you drink uh, uh, reverse osmosis water or distilled water, guess what, guys? It's not good. Why is it not good? I always thought it had something to do with car batteries, but guess what? Why it's not good is because it has no minerals in it. So when you drink that water, it's unstable water. So when the water needs, when the water goes through your body, it needs to stabilize. What's going to happen? It's going to take iron from your blood. It's going to take calcium from your bones, make you have osteoporosis. It's going to tear you up. So the, the, the process is just ongoing, ongoing, ongoing. So basically, to push this video quicker, I'm going to sum it up real quick, okay? So basically, um, when you test and you see that you're ascetic, you, you take water that's distilled, you put Himalayan salt in it, and then you have to alkaline the water, okay? Now, any of you guys that are into stuff that I'm into with magnets or whatever, you can do two things. One thing is take a plastic container, like the old milk jugs, not the, the one gallon, but the two and a half gallon, had the spout on the end. Divide that, get two of those, okay? And then in the middle, put a little round hole with a PVC pipe going through and seal both sides. And in the middle of that PVC, before you put it in, put a sponge in there. So it kind of separates both sides. Put a positive charge in one side, a negative charge in the other side. The water will split. One side of the water will be yellow and dirty. No, not dirty, but yellowish. That's the ascetic water. It's good for plants and whatever outside in the ground. The alkaline water will be the clean, clear water on the other side. The problem is the, the water is going to want to after it's done and changed, right? And it, the, key, the key is this. If you separate the positive water on the other side, that water on the other side that you want to drink is going to want to neutralize itself. It's going to go back to what it used to be. It'll lose its alkalinity. But if you keep the acidic water on the other side and keep that sponge in place... Pretty much, you can keep it alkaline for a while. Drink it at home. Do the body test. You guys ready? The test. Pee on a test strip. Look at your color. See your aesthetic. What I could do for you is teach you guys how to be alkaline. And basically, drink two glasses of water that day after you take your test. The next morning when you pee, because everything settles to the bottom, pee on the test strip. Basically, you're going to start to see color show up. Start adjusting the water, drinking the water, get your body to the color you want it to be. Start getting on the internet, research about everything, about alkalinity and health benefits. You'll be amazed. And I don't know, a couple times I see comments about me don't know about blood cells. Well, guess what, guys? The blood cells are just like atoms. 
They, 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 they collect everything. They have a nucleus. They have the same charge, a negative charge running the outside, positive, and a neutral on the inside. And they're running through your body. So when they get out of balance, is because their charge is wrong. And I know this. And, and through my studies and, and the patents that I'm putting in place right now, I'm going to have bands put in place that where you can alter. I know there's things out there, but trust me, I'm putting things in place to where you can alter the, your, your field uh, of what your body's producing because of everything that's the, the, the iron pulling through for oxygen is lacking of everything else that's pushing through. So the, if, you, if you do any ratios in math, you'll realize that it's on a downward spiral. So you need to convert it and turn it around. And you can do that by changing the, the components inside your bloodstream when it's running through. And it'll do the reverse. Of, instead of aging, it'll, it'll actually make you younger. Not claiming anything, but this is the shit I'm into. Beside my Edliest Gallon, my boy, yes! All right, anyway, I talked enough. Hopefully you guys, 11 minutes not too much to listen to my ass. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Take it easy, guys. Alkalinity. I want comments. No, you guys got to fucking give me comments about you guys' tests. I want you to test yourself. It's a challenge. I challenge every fucking one of you guys. Piss on a test trip and see where the hell you're at. You're going to be ascetic motherfuckers. I know it. I don't give a fuck how much you eat, what you do. You're going to be ascetic. Turn your body around. Trust me. Do your own research. Do your own research. I got the way to keep the shit in bottles going forever. That's the shit that I'm into, guys. You have a good night. At least Scallon, St. Vincent Compound, alkaline water, negative ion charge. Peace out.